discoveries in science have led us to prolong life longer than the average lifespan. But what happens when the life never starts? Every species has its own impact on the ecosystem, which is why it's so important to ensure their own continuity. This is where assisted reproductive technology, also known as ART, comes into play. There are two main types, artificial insemination and embryo transfer. But first, how is ART commonly used in animals? We most often see it when cultivating livestock. For example, it has been used since the 1930s in cattle and was popularized in Malaysia during the 1960s. ART can also be used to help repopulate endangered species. It has not been done on a wide scale, but can be used to repopulate a few species such as the bison and the white rhinoceros. With more research, we hope to repopulate many other species endemic to Malaysia such as the Malayan tiger and the blind tapir. The first method to talk about today is artificial insemination. Now, artificial insemination is a process where you insert sperm directly into the female cervix, fallopian tube or uterus. The most common method is called intrauterine insemination, also known as IUI, where a doctor physically places the male semen into the female. This method is commonly practiced in ensuring the continuity of endangered species. Recently, the black-footed ferret was saved from extinction using artificial insemination. The second method we'll be talking about today is embryo transfer. An embryo transfer is where an embryo that is fertilized externally is inserted into the uterus for implantation. There are many facets to an embryo transfer. First, the embryos can either be fresh or frozen. Next, there are single embryo transfers and multiple embryo transfers. Single embryo transfers reduces the risk of having twins or triplets, therefore reducing the risk of the pregnancy. Because of this, it has become the standard for IVF. Lastly, one should consider the stage of embryo when transferring. The first option is called cleavage stage. Embryos reach this stage on day 3. Transferring the embryo into the uterus at this point ensures the highest level of survival as embryos usually don't make it to day 5. The second option is the blastocyst stage. This stage occurs on day 5. The benefits of implanting during this stage is that embryos can be tested for genetic defects, probability of miscarriage and sex before implantation. This can be beneficial in endangered animals, where a deficit in one sex can cause inbreeding. Without assisted reproductive technology, we would have to say goodbye to certain endangered species forever. But for now, we have the option to correct our faults and bring new life into this world. Thank you for watching!